So we're going to start out by adding some text, and I'm just going to name this Twisted Text. Then I'm going to uh, center all of this and adjust the extrusion. Then I'm going to convert it to mesh and merge all the vertices. Then I'm going to shade the object smooth and rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees. Now I'm going to add a simple deform modifier and turn it to 500 degrees. And then I'll add an edge split modifier to sharpen up those edges. And you can just adjust this to your liking, but I'll stick with 30. So the next step is I'm just going to move this along the x-axis and I'm going to add in a plane. And I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees along the y-axis. And I'm going to scale it down slightly and then I'm going to inset it and delete the middle face. Then I'll extrude it out and make it kind of thick. I'll add some bevel to give it less of a sharp look. And uh, now we can just scale this down a little bit and we can rotate this to match the edge of our text. And we can just move this right here to see how it looks. And this is all aligned. So now I'm gonna add a rotation keyframe and add a location keyframe on the text. Then I'm gonna move it along the x-axis to the very last frame, add a location keyframe, and on the hoop, I'll rotate it by negative 500 degrees and add a rotation keyframe. Then I'll scale it up a little bit. And now when we play, it slides through nicely. And now we can start to just make a keyframe that'll bring it away so that we can untwist this. Perfect. And now about right here, I'm gonna go over to the D for modifier and hit I and add a keyframe. And then about frame 200, I'll go to zero degrees and add another keyframe. Now that this is looking good, we can start to set up the rendering. And I'll add in a plane and we can set up a lighting setup that is um, very well demonstrated in Polyforge's tutorial. Just uh, view this tutorial right up here, card on screen, and you can learn how to make this simple lighting setup that looks absolutely great. But basically you just add in a plane and extrude the backside up and make it really smooth. And now that we have all this, we can add in a camera and control alt and number pad zero to snap it to your camera view. And I'll just get this into a nice view right here. And if we go to frame zero, I will move the camera into a suitable position looking at the hoop. And I'll add a location and rotation keyframe. And then I will put it into the final location and create another keyframe. And I'll just move this to frame 100. And here is the lovely animation right here. And next we can go to rendered view. I'll be using the EV render engine in this animation because it is fast. We will add in an area light, scale it up and move it in front, move it along the x-axis. And if we go into rendered view, we can just change the background to black and turn up the power on this area light here. And as you can see, it looks very good. And now we can add in a depth of field and set the focus object to be the hoop. And I'll just set it to a 0.5 of the f-stop. And this will give us a nice effect. Beautiful. And it just goes through. Now I'll add a material on the hoop and name this metal material. And I'll just turn up the metallic to full and leave the roughness where it is. Now I'll turn on screen space reflections and on the text I'll just name this text material and change it to a nice reddish material. And the ground material, I'm just going to make this kind of a bluish material, just like this. And now you can see that it nicely goes well. And this is the last frame. And if we just render this, you can see that it is a very nice result. So now we're going to do some compositing. I'm just going to move this down and click use nodes. And if you enable the node wrangler, you can just Control shift and click on the render layers and I'm gonna hit shift a and add in a box mask and I'm just going to control shift and click on the box mask widen it and make kind of a little bit of a box then I'll add in a blur node put it right in front of the box mask and set about 200 YX blur 
And then I'll add in an alpha over node, switch it into the factor and the image into the bottom and change the no input image to black. And I'll just widen this box mask a little bit. You can find a full tutorial on how to do this vignette effect in this tutorial right here by Ryan King Art. And now if we look at the viewer node, you can see that this is perfectly good. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. And without further ado, the final result.